in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a composite in DaVinci Resolve using an external mat. So I'm in the media panel in DaVinci Resolve and I've imported two clips into my media pool that were filmed on a green screen that need to have the background removed. And up here in my library, I have an external mat that I've created in Adobe After Effects that matches up with one of my green screen clips down here in my media pool. And if you are interested in how you can create an external mat in Adobe After Effects, I have another tutorial that walks you through that process. But for this tutorial, all we really need to do is link this external mat with the correct clip down here in my media pool. So to do that, I'm gonna select my clip and I'm gonna go up here to my external mat and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna navigate down the menu to add as mat and select that. And then the next thing I need to do is just go into my color panel and here in the color panel, if I right click on my node here, that is that same clip that I just applied the external mat to, I'll have an option down here at the bottom to add mat. And if I select that, you'll see an external mat node is added. And the next thing I sort of need to do to activate this alpha channel is to right click and add an alpha output. And that will add this alpha output bar here. And then I just need to connect my external mat to the alpha output and you'll see that that keys out my background and so that's really all there is to it and now if i scroll through my clip you'll see because my external mat lines up with my footage that the mat is doing an excellent job of removing the background now if you did have an external mat that didn't quite match your clip for some reason there are some controls in davinci resolve that allow you to tweak your mat and those are located here in the key and if I just double click on my mat node, we'll bring that up. And you know, you have your basic options of pan, tilt, zoom, rotate, and the ability to adjust the width and height of your mat so that it better lines up with your footage if for some reason it doesn't line up. Now, one thing, if you do want to adjust these transform controls, you do need to turn off this lock mat checkbox, and that will allow you to change these settings. And as you can see, adjust the mat as needed to line up with your footage. I'm just going to reset that. Now, one note about connecting an external mat in DaVinci Resolve to an original piece of footage is that the mat actually needs to be the same length as the footage that you're connecting it to. So that means that if you are trying to connect an external mat to a timeline where a lot of edits have been completed, it might be difficult to line up your external mat with your shots. Now, there is this offset control that will allow you to offset your external mat onto your footage, but if you are trying to connect an external mat to a clip in DaVinci Resolve that is very long, it might be difficult to use the offset to properly get it to the right point. So that's just something to keep in mind. And so that's all there really is to creating a composite in DaVinci Resolve using an external mat. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.